Hello, everyone. It's my pleasure to present this paper, Research Trends in Construction and Demolition Waste Management in Australia. This paper provides a holistic understanding of studies on Australian construction and demolition waste management in the last two decades. It can also serve as a guide for practitioners and researchers to provide better solutions in Australian construction and demolition waste management. This presentation is divided into six parts, including introduction, motivation and aims, research method, analysis results, future directions, and conclusion. The construction industry produces a large amount of waste. Over 10 billion tons of construction and demolition waste is generated yearly in the world. In Australia, construction and demolition waste as the second largest waste stream produces around 19 million tons yearly. The average of construction and demolition waste in various countries has come to around 33% of their total waste, but this rate is near 44% in Australia. Waste generation in the construction industry has negative impacts on the environment. The composition of construction and demolition waste could contain hazardous components. Human health also could be affected. So far, an extensive range of topics regarding construction and demolition waste management have been published in the literature. However, these studies have different emphasis. Therefore, there is need to synthesize the state of art in Australian construction and demolition waste management practices towards improving performance and consolidating unsustainable practices. The national waste management has appealed to better support economy, protect people's health, and reduce environmental problems in Australia by controlling and using the value of waste materials moving towards a secure economy. However, most previous Australian research representing a waste management hierarchy as a gold standard is out of date for catching up the secure economy. Therefore, it would be useful and effective to evaluate the latest trends of construction and demolition waste management in Australia for funding possible solutions to improve current waste management practices. This research aims to provide a systematic review of construction and demolition waste management in Australia and further analyze whether those trends have been discussed and acknowledged in the current literature related to the Australian context. The systematic review was conducted by following the approach adopted by Lu and Yuan in 2011. A three-step process was followed to ensure that the relevant papers were searched, retrieved, and analyzed. The first step is to set keyword boundaries as string tests in the Google Scholar, Scopus, and Science Direct database for crucial facets of construction and demolition waste analysis, including waste generation, waste management approach, with management hierarchy, construction project stakeholders, and construction project stages. In the second step, seven journals were selected, 24 scholarly papers published between January 1998 to June 2018 were chosen from those journals issue by issue. At last, a level was used in this research to analyze the data. A tentative framework matrix was created to analyze those 24 journal articles. The first level notes and the second level notes were created to analyze the data on selected papers based on the keyword boundaries. For example, this table summarizes the first level and the second level notes, which were created to identify project stakeholders related to construction and demolition waste management in the selected time period. Based on the previous tentative framework matrix, a visual summary was established to assist in analyzing and understanding the development of Australian construction and demolition waste management research. This figure is divided into three main sections. The green section represents the Australian construction and demolition waste management research from 1998 to 2004. The blue section represents from 2005 to 2011, and the yellow section shows research from 2012 to 2018. Each section includes a curve pie indicating a total number of studies published in the selected period with its percentage of total studies published in 21 years. It should be mentioned that the sum of these percentages exists 100% as some of these studies focus on more than one area. When looking at the waste management hierarchy, studies mainly focus on waste recycling and waste reduction, and the use of waste has gotten increased attention. 
these three waste management strategies have less adverse environmental impacts based on the stakeholder preference in the waste management hierarchy. However, this should be involved in all stages of the construction project life cycle. It's also important to find the most suitable strategies for each stage of the building life cycle, rather than only based on the stakeholder preference. When looking at construction project life cycle, majority of studies focus on construction and demolition stages in the waste management practices. However, it's important to consider the whole life cycle when it comes to the construction and demolition waste management, rather than only focusing on individual stages. Even at the pre-design stage, waste management should be considered as a part of the tender documents to allow adequate time and resources for waste management. For the whole building perspective, the maintenance and the retrofit stages can also be the best places to minimize and improve the environmental impacts of waste management. When looking at construction and demolition waste management processes, there is a growing number of technical factors. Many research tend to focus on identifying new technology tools or methods improving waste management practices. However, any innovative technical requires many experiments and examinations before using real projects. This kind of requirements may challenge the Australian construction industry to the improvement of eco-efficiency as its limited ability in boosting profits but with its demand for more money in introducing advanced technologies. As a result of that, financial support from external stakeholders is crucial to introducing and applying technologies in sustainable construction and practices. However, most of the construction domination waste management research is with a lesser emphasis on human factors. Attitudes and behavior of project stakeholders are commonly unsupportive on construction domination waste management as the profit-driven nature of the construction industry. The unwillingness of changing institutions slows down the implementation of technology or practices for minimizing waste in construction projects. Therefore, it's necessary to consider human factors in waste management practices to improve the current practices. When looking at construction project stakeholders, around half of them mainly focus on some of the internal stakeholders when considering construction demolition waste management. For example, contractors, clients, and workers. However, external stakeholders like owner, public, and the government can also become the primary drivers of con sustainable construction practices to some extent. It's essential to construct relationships by high degrees of involvement, cooperation, and sharing risk in construction projects, with proper supervision under clear instructions for enhancing the performance of waste management practices. Based on the formal analysis results, suggestions for future research directions and inspiration from global research are provided in this proposed framework. The circular economy concept can be applied to improve the current construction demolition waste management practices, as this concept tries to merge all best existing strategies to benefit the environment, economy, and society. Also embracing a life cycle perspective on buildings, as well as considering more suitable waste management strategies, will further improve outcomes in applying waste management practices. Besides, human and technical factors are equally important in concerning damage waste management approaches. Both could serve as barriers when applying waste management practices in construction projects. In order to achieve robust concerning damage waste management, it's necessary to consider both technical and human factors with managing all project stakeholders relevant to waste management in construction projects. This proposed framework can be used to help ensuring that a coherent approach to waste management is enacted and monitored in Australia. Also can be applicable to the global context as it highlights the importance of considering the involvement of different stakeholders and life cycle thinking in construction demolition waste management. An improved understanding of the research trends in Australian concerning demolition waste management will preclude a whole life cycle perspective of buildings when implementing waste management practices in the future. The proposed framework of the research doesn't seek to inform waste management practitioners about what to do, but rather provide an avenue for what they might do to achieve a more holistic and effective construction demolition waste management sector. This study, therefore, provides insights and strategies that can be harnessed by researchers, 
policymakers and practitioners by enhancing construction damage waste management practices in Australia.